Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to use Google Sheets and Firebase to build a crude web application for free. We'll use Google Sheets for schema and configuration, Firestore for storing our data, and Google Apps Script to deploy the web app. Here is our web application, which is designed to store and manage records about ships and ports. At the top, you can see sections for ships and ports. You can add a new item by clicking the New Item button. And you can perform edit, delete, and view operations just as easily. For example, you can delete a record or add a new item. Additionally, you can perform a search using the search bar. Next, here's our Firebase console. On the left, you can see the Firestore database. We have two collections in Firestore, one for ports and one for ships. Each of these collections contains multiple documents. If you're not familiar with Firestore, it's a NoSQL database provided by Firebase. Unlike SQL, it stores records in the form of collections and documents instead of tables. Now, let's look at our Google Sheets. Here, you can see the schema for ships and ports. This schema allows us to generate documents within the Firestore collections. We also have app settings, which are used to generate collections like the ones you saw earlier, ships, and ports. The app settings dictate the creation of new collections. So, whenever you perform a CRUD operation or create a new entry, the appropriate collection is automatically generated and fields and documents are added based on the schema. To give you a quick demo, I'll create a new item. I'll provide a unique zip code, ship name, select the country, vessel type, and other relevant information. And then hit Save. As you can see, the new record has been created. Similarly, you can perform a delete operation. Let me demonstrate that as well. You can also view or edit a record by clicking the pencil icon. Let's try changing the vessel type to cargo and hit save. As you can see, the vessel type has been updated accordingly. So, how do we set this up? First, we need to create a Firestore database. Start by going to Firebase, type Firebase in Google, and click the link. Then, click on the Get Started button, followed by the Get Started with a Firebase project button. Enter your project name and click Continue. Opt for Google Analytics if needed, and then create the project. Once the project is set up, go to the left navigation bar, click on Build, and select Firestore Database. Click on the Create Database button, choose your location, and select Test Mode to start. Now that our database is successfully created, we need credentials to access it. Go to Project Settings and navigate to the Service Accounts tab. Click on Generate New Private Key, 
which will download a JSON file. Upload this JSON file to your Google Drive. Once uploaded, you'll need to capture the file ID by clicking Share or Get File Link and copy this file ID for later use. Keep this ID handy by saving it in a notepad, along with your project ID, which you can find in the project settings. Once you've completed the previous steps, go to the Google Sheets spreadsheet linked in the description box below. Open the link, then go to File and make a copy of the spreadsheet. After that, navigate to Extensions, select App Script, and open the script editor. Here, you need to replace the credentials file ID with the file ID you obtained earlier and replace the project ID with your specific project ID. Once you've made these changes, click the Save button. Next, click the Deploy button and choose New Deployment. Set the deployment type as Web App, and in the Description field, enter something like Version 1, and in the Who Has Access dropdown, select Only Myself. Then, hit the Deploy button. You'll be prompted to authorize the code, so go ahead and grant the necessary permissions. Once the app is deployed, you will receive a new web app URL. Copy this URL and open it in your browser. Afterward, go back to the spreadsheet, click on App Settings, and hit the Save Settings button. You may also want to edit the schema before saving. If you're curious about how to edit the schema or customize the project, I recommend watching my previous video titled Crude Multi-Page App where I explain this process in detail. In the schema file, you'll see that you need to have a key, label, and type for each entry. The type can be anything that matches your requirements. There are several options available such as text, date, number, text area, select, radio, checkbox, link, currency, avatar, time, file, image, and more. You'll also need to set the Firestore type, which can be a string, integer, double, etc. For drop-down types, you can even set options or pull them from different sheets. For example, you might have a country field that pulls options from a country sheet. I've explained this in detail in my other videos, so I encourage you to watch them for a deeper understanding. Once the schema is saved, remember to save the settings each time you make changes. If you add new sheets to the file, click Refresh Sheet List to update the dropdowns for the spreadsheets. After you've saved the settings, go back to your web app and refresh the URL. Let's test this by creating a new port. The record has been successfully created and saved. If we check our Firestore database, you'll see that a new ports collection was created along with a document inside that collection. Pretty cool, right? Now, let's create a new ship. Let's try another operation, like editing.
As you can see, the record has been updated successfully. If we check the Firestore database again, the updated record is there as well. Everything is working smoothly. We've now successfully set up our backend using Firestore and configured everything with Google Sheets. This template allows you to build multiple apps based on it. As I mentioned earlier, this project builds on top of my previous work, so for a detailed code review of the front end, you can refer to that. In this project, I've updated the CRUD methods to directly use the Firestore REST API for adding, updating, editing, and deleting records. If you look at the script editor in the Firebase CRUD.js file, you'll find methods like add document, update document, delete document, and get all documents. These methods are called from the front end index.html file. For example, in the index.html file, the add document and update document methods are called in the save block of the JavaScript. These server side functions handle the requests and update the UI accordingly. If you need customization for this project, feel free to reach out to me. For lighter use cases and learning purposes, this template is free to copy and use for your own projects. However, if you require a more robust app with features like server-side pagination, advanced searching, and more, I can help build that at an affordable price. If you enjoyed this project and want to support me, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.